Okay, in this video, we are going to learn about controllers. And controllers is where we store the main logic for our application. So this is typically where you will do a lot of programming is inside of your controllers. So from the last video, we actually created a controller called the customer controller. And this is where we're going to store a lot of the logic for maybe looping through data and then sending data to our application view. So let's go ahead and maybe just add some functionality and then we will show you how we go from the route to the controller and then to a view. So if I open up my routes web.php, you can see that we have all these routes that we created in a previous video. So I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of clean this up. So I think the only one I wanna keep here is the home route. And instead of just echoing this out, and this is called a closure right here, where we pass a function to a specific route. So typically what we would do is instead of having a closure, we would pass the route to a specific controller method. So let's go ahead and say that we want this to go to the customer controller. And maybe we just want this to go to an index method. Okay, so jumping back to the customer controller, I now need to create this new public function index. And I'm going to pass it a request object. And this is just common for Laravel methods. You always, or you typically always have the request object being passed to the method. And you can think of it like a user is visiting your website and they go to a specific URL. That is the request that is being sent to your application. So we will learn later about all the things that we can get from this request object. But for now, let's go ahead and just echo out a simple message again. I'll say hello from the controller. And you can see this is going to be pretty simple. If I go to my application.test, we're just going to get hello from the controller. And I just wanted to show you that typically we were going from the route and we were just echoing out a message. But now we're going from the route to the controller method and then printing out that message. So again, typically in our methods is where we would do a lot of functionality. So let's add some very stupid functionality here. Maybe I just create a new variable called num equals, let's do two plus three. And then I'm going to pass this to a view. So to do this, I'm just gonna say return view. And I want to pass a view that lives inside of the resources views folder. And you can already see that I have a welcome.blade.php file there. So I'm just gonna pass this to welcome. And then I can pass the num variable to this view. So I'm going to use a function called compact, which basically takes any kind of variable and you can pass it as a string and that will pass the value of that variable to the view. So now let's open back up this welcome and I'm just gonna clear everything out from here. And I think I'll just create a basic HTML page with the title of welcome. And then down here, I'll have an h1, welcome to the view. And then I'm going to go ahead and print out the value of num. So I'm gonna say PHP echo num. Okay, so now that we have our route here, going to a controller and then hitting the index method. So inside of the index method, we do some functionality, very basic, and then we pass it to the welcome view. And here inside of the welcome view, we have some HTML, and then we have an H1 that prints out a message and echoes out the value inside of num. If we go back here, we reload, you can see that sure enough, we get the message welcome to view, and then it prints out the value five, which was the two plus three that we calculated in our controller. So I know this may seem very basic. We just created a new variable and added two plus three, and then we passed it to a view. Uh, but if you're not familiar with Laravel, I kind of just wanted to show you how that whole process works from going to the route, then to the controller, and then passing it to a view. So some of this may seem a little basic, a little easy. And if it does, that's good because we'll get into a few more advanced things later on. But that is the basics on using controllers in Laravel. We will go into more functionality with controllers in future videos, and we will also touch on application views that we just showed you in this video. 
But in the next video, we're going to talk about models. And that's a great way of getting some data from the database. So we can hit a specific route that hits a controller. And that controller can get some data from the database via a model and then pass it to the view. So whenever you're ready, let's go ahead and jump into the next video. Hey, thanks for checking out this video series on Laravel 7 Basics. Uh, I just wanted to say thanks for watching this series. And I also wanted to ask you to give me a follow on Twitter at T-N-Y-L-E-A. I also wanted to take just a second and let you know about one of my courses that I created called SAS Adventure. And you can visit it at sasadventure.io. And this is a 21 day program that will teach you how to create your own software as a service using the Laravel framework. So if you want to support me, go ahead and uh, check out my course at sasadventure.io and I will see you in the next video.